I gave my presentation the title Hungarian Heritage in the USA and that's the first uh, uh, topic of my presentation. Then I'd like to talk about oops, <laughs> later on. <laughs> then I would like to talk about my work experience at the American Hungarian Foundation Library. And then last but not least, I would like to show you a couple of slides uh, about my uh, journey uh, to the southwest of uh, the USA. According to fairly recent census data, almost a million and four hundred thousand uh, Hungarians lived in the United States in um, uh, 2000, and I use the Hungarian Reform Federation of America as a source here. Uh, the state of New Jersey was the fifth on this list uh, with uh, 115,000 uh, uh, bit over. I was amazed to learn how many religious, cultural, civic and educational organizations exist uh, still in New Brunswick, New Jersey alone. There's even a Koshu Street and Koshu Park nearby. Somerset Street used to be the Hungarian quarter and is still lined with Hungarian flags, monuments, <coughs> and signs in Hungarian. In addition to the um, Hungarian Heritage Center, uh, or popularly known as the Hungarian Museum, uh, there's the Magyar Reform Church, the St. Ladislaw uh, Catholic Church, the uh, Evangelical Lutheran Church, um, also the Hungarian American Athletic Club, uh, the Széchenyi uh, Hungarian Community School and Kindergarten, and uh, the Hungarian Scout Home. Um, I would like to just to give you uh, uh, examples of some uh, Hungarian organizations here and show you pictures of the uh, Széchenyi Hungarian School. And also the uh, monument of the 1956 uh, revolution here. As uh, Veronica mentioned, uh, New Brunswick is the home for the um, uh, Rutgers State University of New Jersey, where there is an Institute for Hungarian Studies since 1991. Uh, Johnson & Johnson um, is a very famous uh, company, and um, uh, a lot of Hungarians used to work there. And also, uh, I found the Magyar <laughs> Bank, uh, Seems familiar, I think. Uh, so, uh, my host institution was the American Hungarian Foundation, uh, which was founded in 1954 at Amherst College, Illinois. And uh, uh, the uh, foundation moved to uh, New Brunswick in 1959 and uh, the new uh, Hungarian Heritage Center facility was built in 1989. So next year we'll, um, uh, we will see the uh, dual anniversary for this uh, uh, foundation. Uh, the foundation's ongoing mission is to communicate the story of American Hungarians through the Hungarian Heritage Center. Uh, this is what they um, uh, state on their uh, homepage, which is the only facility of its type in the United States. The traditions and contributions of American <coughs> Hungarians are documented and uh, conserved as important collections and shared with the general public in the Foundation's museum, library, and archives. The Foundation's location in the Northeast uh, region of the United States places it not only in a historically important area for American Hungarians, but is also in close reach of nearly 40% of the current American Hungarian population. Uh, 
its president, uh, Professor August uh, Molnar, uh, is uh, um, still uh, uh, the drive behind his uh, uh, foundation. He is in his office uh, every single day, and uh, he, he's, he's a great fundraiser for this organization, and I'm very grateful uh, to him for his uh, support during my uh, grant. As a Fulbright scholar, my original aim was to find, organize, and share primary resources about the Hungarian immigrants to the United States in the Library for Archives of the American Hungarian Foundation. Um, I think uh, the foundation is a remarkable place uh, dedicated to collect and display Hungarian artifacts, printed and archival material donated to the uh, foundation uh, for five decades. I worked, um, and uh, here are a few slides of the uh, building itself. In winter, in spring, there are some uh, flyers uh, promoting the uh, museum's uh, uh, new exhibition. I worked closely with the librarian and archivist, uh, first of all, to select the most valuable and significant archival collection for cataloging. Our choice was the Bethlehem collection, uh, that is the archives of the Bethlehem home, formerly called Bethlehem Museum and Archives, uh, which was located in uh, Pennsylvania. It's uh, approximately uh, 1,200 uh, cubic feet in size, uh, arranged in uh, 1,369 containers, boxes, and uh, uh, volumes. Uh, my, uh, my job was to convert the finding aid, uh, which was prepared uh, by previous uh, Fulbright scholars, into a local database, uh, which is searchable by multiple uh, indexes. <coughs> so here is a um, few data about this collection. Um, uh, this was donated, um, the material was donated by uh, church congregations and uh, religious uh, fraternal political and cultural organizations. Uh, first to this uh, uh, Bethlehem uh, Museum, and then the museum uh, uh, donated it to the American Hungarian Foundation, where they believe that uh, it will be preserved and uh, cataloged and uh, made available for uh, the general public uh, and, uh, and researchers as well. And it's important because it contains uh, primary and secondary um, sources about the uh, Hungarian immigrants um, and ethnic life in the United States. Also, uh, Hungarian-American historical and cultural relationships, uh, Hungarian immigrant life uh, of the diaspora, and the affairs of Hungary. <laughs> uh, I use the so-called archivist toolkit, an open source uh, software uh, to um, prepare this database, uh, which meant that I had to enter um, the, uh, the entries from this finding aid, and also I had to uh, make sure that the names, the places, the topics uh, are entered correctly, uh, and I also had to add all the names, all the all the places uh, that were included in this uh, collection.